Alright, what's up guys? Bobby Blue here and I'm back with another reaction to a slap on Titan. This is episode 12, uh, Between a Rock and a Large Face. Uh, last episode ended off with um, Aaron becoming a Titan and he attacked Mikasa for her gay comment, as she always does. But, uh, yeah, as far as the story goes, this is really weird because, I don't know, I think he probably succumbed to his Titan instincts. I don't know, maybe it's because... He's gonna start attacking his allies now, so let's see how this goes. It's a lot of Titans. Pictures and likes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Last episode he unloaded with it. Oh my god, dude. Oh yeah. Jealousy? Is that still it? Aaron, you need to stop this. Get off my face. Humanity is depending on you. You're on my face. <laughs> well, I can see where this ends. Let's see. Which pastel color means fucked up beyond all repair? Red. Aaron, it's me. Don't you recognize me? Must control. Ackerman, control your ovaries and run. I am not leaving him. Aaron, if you can hear me in there, I need you to listen. Listen and think. What is the one action you can take right now to help humanity? Oh, shit. Punch yourself? I like the backup in case things go wrong. What is a colorblind person doing in the military anyway? What's your official job? Helping on crones cross the street? Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! My friends, they're all dead for nothing. Oh, for Christ's sakes, piss off! Boy, howdy! Our teammates are experiencing trouble. Cheap Willikers, guys. Maybe if we think really happy thoughts, it will send some positive energy their way. Come, come on! Ah! Armin, wait! We need your natural cheer! Where's he going? Is anyone else looking at the way he runs? <laughs> what do you mean? He does not run like a normal person. He <laughs> scampers. Like a rat. General, he scampers. we need two leaves. Call me Texas. Uh, okay. Pixis. Yes. <laughs> say it again. Pixis? Now say it slower. Pixis. Oh, yes. Pixis likes. Come here, come here! I don't get it. 
I've always worked for Team Four Star. <laughs> what? I'm out of ideas. Let's go. <laughs> Come in now. Wait. Let the professionals handle this. As squad leader, the decision ultimately comes down to me. And we're staying. Ian, are you kidding me? What more can we do? Guys, I don't get why we're fighting. I just want to play patty cake. We are staying and that's final. I have dreamed for years of this day. Of finally fulfilling my Homeric destiny and dying an honorable death. Worthy of the fiercest warrior. So this entire mission was one big excuse for you to live out your dream of dying honorably? You have fun with that, Ian. But I'm out. And the famous last words of Emily Dickinson? Fuck this! You dare quote her word to my face? Do you not know who I am? I crave the dick! What? Come on, bro. How's the battle going? <laughs> we keep feeding people to Titans, so not good. If we're not careful, we'll be next. Yeah, right. I'm not dying today. Oh, what makes you so sure of that? Just to make the party. I've got the stripping gig lined up. I can die now. Connie, this is a war zone. Stripping should be the last thing on your mind. Hey, I know destiny when I see it. Mama told me never to give up on your dreams. And tonight, I'm going to fulfill my dream of laying all the girls in the 104 at once. That's not even anatomically possible. Connie, I'm never even to sweat Connie, never give up on your dreams. I got that Latin. What's up with him, man? <laughs> God. Ian, for God's sake, stop reciting poetry. Can you not see its message? Here, standing at the precipice, all we have left is hope. And we must fight for it. No matter what it costs. No matter what it takes. Look at who we've got on our side. We have a fiery Asian hell bitch. And we have a cowardly fucking lion as our mascot. And we have you, Rico, with that absolutely bitchin' glasses tit that's in every goddamn anime series ever. We have all the pieces we need to win, so please, fight with me! I refuse. Wait! I refuse to listen to you jabber about Jabberwocky. Look, I'll do my part. Just please, Ian, shut the hell up. Wow. <laughs> Guess so. It's thousand more for escaping certain death. Don't be just having to break your foot because you want to look cool. Ha! <laughs> Turning your notes. Sorry to smile for the first really sorry to smile for the first time in years. Actually, yeah, I've never seen uh, the sergeant's <laughs> smile yet. That's kinda of funny. Everything's back the way it used to be. Mom and Mikasa are cleaning up. <laughs> Dad's reading alone like a fucking nerd. Where are you, bro? Just like old times. He walked off. That's episode one. I'm so tired. Feels like when mom would give me Benadryl before your business meetings. You think I'll take a nap? That's right, my friends. Your master has arrived. Okay, well, the last squad that ventured out of cover just got devoured alive. Who fancies a race? This is serious bullshit. Remember, you don't have to be the fastest. You just need to be faster than the person running next to you. How the literal fuck did we get picked for this assignment? Sir, permission to trip others to ensure my own survival if needed. That's what forward thinking we like in this military cadet. Permission granted. Ha 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 I will hug you 
I squeeze you, I call you George. Wow. Kills it though. <laughs> Why is Aaron being useless? He went into a rage after transforming and knocked himself out. We can't get him to wake up or respond. Really? Armin! I mean, seriously? Yeah, Armin. I couldn't do that if I tried. He had one fucking job to do. Yeah. He knocked himself out. He had one job. What's he gonna do? He studies the various permutations of flesh and striations of muscle, looking for a cheek. Why does steam come out of their bodies? He lifts the blade to start the feast. The entire world watches with ravenous hunger. Ready to strike? Armin? Here it is, Mr. Whiskers. Take us home. Ooh! Like a jump start right there. Aaron. Aaron. Oh, snap, you actually got him. Aaron. Wait. Hey. Wow. Oh my god. Form the whoopiest of Goldbergs of this particular predicament. Is he crying? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Are they gonna do anything? Uh oh. Oh 
no, he's... Are they gonna do anything? Baron, remember our dream about the outside world? Our plans He's still down as far as we could see. It was a beautiful dream, Baron. We would have ruled over all that we found. From endless deserts to starlit oceans to lush forests and even the moon. All while following the field notes of Mr. Adolf. We can still reach that dream. Even now, but first, Adolf. You must murder them all. We must murder them all. Are you taking notes after Adolf Hitler murder is? All titans. Well, yeah, yeah, titans too. But I was actually referring. No, Armin, you don't understand. Referring to what? Who? Until every last titan is dead, my family cannot be whole again. I must murder all titans. I must take back this world. My family is pure. Wow. All right, that was uh, episode twelve. Um, I forgot his name. The one that. Aaron Hayes, the one who has a crush on Mikasa. I don't think he's going to make it. Unless those other two uh, jump in and save him. But it looks like that's not going to happen. Mikasa, where? I think she was still out there trying to distract the other Titans. So, uh, let's see. I don't know. I'm still waiting. I don't know why he's keep thinking of his dad. What happened to him? I don't understand why I don't think of where his dad went. It drives me crazy. Every episode, I just think about, oh, where is his dad at? Because they always show him. But if you guys enjoyed my reaction, please like the subscribe button. Help me on my journey to my first one subscribers. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.